I am so happy to be joined by the president of Silicon Knights, Dennis Dyack, who's also more importantly working on the long awaited two humans. In Two Human, you play Balder, the cybernetic god charged with the defense of mankind against an army of machines trying to wipe everyone out. And really, uh, the game uh, challenges you to think about trading off between you know, machine and, and human parts. Now, obviously, this plays into the RPG elements of the game. As you proceed through the game, you'll be able to you know, change yourself. How is that leveling up or that modification of your character going to work in Two Human? By picking you know, sort of uh, skill trees that lend towards cybernetic components or lend towards human components, you either lead towards more RPG RPG, sort of statistical based things are more twitch based action depending on which way you want to lean. When you play it, it definitely is visceral, it's definitely fast, but at the same time there's this very, very deep RPG component that really we've never seen combined in the game before. Obviously, there's been a lot of talk about how the combat works in the game. It's quite unique. We've really put in things where you can juggle and do air combat, and we use the right stick for combat. So with guns, if you're pulling the triggers, uh, you use the right stick to target your enemies. It's kind of like Geometry Wars. If you let go of the triggers, it's like Geometry Wars, except you, you just you, you string combats back and forth, you, you hit back and forth uh, with your enemies, and you can do this thing called ping-ponging or attacking different enemies. And when you do that, it's a two-in-one combo. It increases your combo fuel, so the more sort of combinations and sort of uh, techniques that you use, the faster your meter goes, so you can start using things called runers and uh, fierce attacks. And by doing all these things together, the more skilled players are gonna be able to wipe out rooms. What are the various classes that you can play as in, in Two Human? We've got the Berserker, who is uh, basically your melee class. There's the Defender, who is your tank, who's got tremendous amounts of armor, cannot be knocked down by missiles, and can really just about tank anything and take a lot of damage. There's your champion, who excels in air combat and critical strikes, and he's balanced between, between both guns and melee weapons. And then we've got your commando, who excels in uh, explosive, and, explosive and gun combat. He's essentially your nuker. And then we've got the biomechanic, who's kind of like your combat healer. And so he gets into combat, and he'll be able to heal people through nanotechnology. How many times do you foresee an average gamer actually approaching to a human and playing it through to get a unique experience? Every time you take a class, and every time you pick up a different weapon set, you're gonna get a different experience. How many weapons are we looking at that are available inside of this uh, game? It's way, way, way in the millions. Uh, I couldn't, like, we have tons of, not only do we have different statistics, there's different bonuses, there's different, uh, there's just, it's more than enough to exhaust any hardcore player's aspirations of playing this game for a long time. Well, Dennis, as always, you got me excited for Two Human. I cannot wait to play it. Thanks awesome. so much for joining Awesome, us. thanks for having me, man. Really appreciate it.